I like to use Keynote to kind of fancy it up because I don't have Final Cut Pro. She clearly used a smooth filter. Like we see your face is blurred. It looks like paint. Like I need the front camera to get what the back camera gives. Hey y'all, it's Kimberly the K. Come to you guys with a new video for Vlogmas. So this is Vlogmas day three. Actually, it's a change of videos because it's not what I was planning on recording. But I got my hair done today. It looks cute. I'm not a huge fan of the install, but stay tuned for Sunday's weekly vlog style Vlogmas video, okay? And then you guys will see more about this hair and all that you guys will see. You guys will see. But in today's video, as you told with the title, we're gonna be all over my business. And I didn't even clean out my phone. I haven't done nothing. I was just like, you know what? This is gonna be today's video because I wanna get something up for the girls. So I'm about to screen record and I'll put it on the side of the screen. And I just want y'all to know again, I have not cleaned out my phone. So let's just pray there's nothing embarrassing or crazy on this phone. But it's because I got the iPhone 13. I don't even know the name, child. iPhone 13 Pro Max. I'm super excited. I got some phone cases too because for those that don't know, I love um, case of my phone cases. Wow, this would be a great sponsor plug, but they're not sponsoring this video. But I will leave a link down below if you guys are interested in checking out Casetify. But I love it because I can customize them. I just really like their phone cases, so I ordered two for my new phone. Are y'all is there? Are y'all blurry? Do I need to be cleaned. Hold on. Hold, hold on. Hold on. Y'all okay? Y'all good? We back. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get into my phone. I can't believe I'm doing this. Okay, let's screen record starting three, two, one. Okay, so here it is. At the very top, I have a Widget Smith. Anybody else during like quarantine -iana, like quarantine and the panorama and all of those things just was like in their phone trying to make it look cute and sleek and all that. So I tried and then like it was taking too long. So I have my favorite scripture. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future, Jeremiah 29. <laughs> when I tell you that was like the scripture that held me down around the time when I really wanted to quit my job and I was still just debating it. So I had to put that there. That's like my favorite scripture of all time. So I have that there at the top and then I have my calendar. I do still have some of the little aesthetic features. Like I have the image for the calendar. That's my Google calendar, my emails. We only want to go there because it's too many, okay? Got the clock because I have to set alarms and timers for everything and I don't be late, child. Don't be late. Anybody else, child? But I'm getting better. I'm getting better with timing. I'm not perfect, but I'm getting better. And then my notes app. I love my notes. I have so many different categories. Hold on. Let me see if I can show y'all. Hold on. Let me go back. Let me pull it up. So here I have different like folders for my um notes i need to clean them out again but i saw this method i think it was ali abdul he does like productivity videos and stuff like that i think i saw him do this and that's why i did this but yeah i love this i try to clean them out as you see it's too many like that's too many i know i need to clean some of these out but they really help me stay organized so i love the notes app y'all then i have social so you know we have the youtube the youtube studio pro tip if you're a youtuber get the youtube studio your analytics and all everything is in there and it's also easier to comment back on comments on that app i love that instagram pinterest um, LinkedIn, TikTok. I actually took Facebook off of this because I'm never on there, but I guess I can put it back um, just for the sake of like having all the socials there, you know? Um, then I have KM LLC, Cameron LLC. These are kind of like the apps that I pretty much use for to run my business. There's some stuff that are not listed on here and that's just because it's either specific to like my computer use and or I just prefer the desktop computer usage versus like the app, but yeah, here's some of that. Next, we have photos and editing. So you have just the regular photos, camera, image, imaging edge connects to my Sony. So then I can use my phone as my Bluetooth. Major key if you have a Sony camera, major key. Then unfold, unfold is what I use to create like my to-do list. I'm actually gonna show you guys. This is what I use to create my to-do list on my Instagram. So for those of you that don't know, see, cute. I love that. And then I have other things in here from just whenever I wanna get like, come on phone, hello. See, this is why I need it. It does work. It's just trying to embarrass me in front of nice people. Anyway, so I also use that when I'm doing like brand partnerships and stuff like that. And they need like, you know, kind of fancy stories or when I'm just trying to up it for y'all, you know. Um, next up, Facetune. I use that really just to like smooth anything, but I don't do like smoothing too much. Like, look, this is my skin. No makeup. Not perfect, but like 
I, I don't use the smooth feature, okay? <laughs> um, but I use it just like a little bit. Like I don't use it where it's like, you have, it's a whole different face. You know what I'm saying? Where it's like, she clearly used a smooth feature. Like we see your face is blurred. It looks like paint. <laughs> um, but it's really nice feature. It's a really nice app to use. So here's an example of a photo. Like I just smoothed out a little bit and then I will go in and like whiten my eyes because I do have a little bit of discoloration in my eyes. But aside from that, that's pretty much all I do in my Facetune app. Lightroom, I use that for some editing as well. Again, I'm really basic with editing. I would love to get like really into it, but I don't ever want to do too much. But I would love to like, which I can do a little bit in Facetune and Lightroom is I can like, let's say like there's a speck on the wall, I can like patch that and stuff like that. But I would love to get like, really good, you know? InShot is what I like to use when I'm editing Reels or TikTok, any type of vertical videos, I love using InShot. Unum is a, an app that you can use when you wanna see like your grid on your Instagram. I really don't use that that much anymore because I've come to the conclusion like if I'm too focused on the aesthetics or like just too much of like, should I post this, should I do this, I'm trying to get it perfect, like I just realized I wasn't posting that much. So for me, I was like, I'd rather be consistent and it not be like this perfect aesthetic feed so then I can actually be posting versus posting not that often in order to get the aesthetic. Oop, does that make sense? Somebody let me know if it makes sense. Just because right now my schedule is just really busy so I have to like pick a struggle. Um, the next app is Milkshake. So this is actually what I use for my link in bio. So instead of like Linktree, I use Milkshake because I like that you can create like, it's like a website kind of style. So I can show you an example of what like Camera Monet. So with my Camera Monet, it looks like this. Let me see if I can do a preview. So yeah, this is what it looks like. The link in my bio, have links and things. And then you can actually, let's see if it'll let me do it. I wanna preview. And then the next side will be this one. So let's preview the next slide. I thought you could preview all of it, girl, but. And then this just has like a little about me and it has links to my other socials. So I really like this. I love that app, but actually there's another one I wanna try out. So stay tuned. There's another one I'm gonna try out. Then next all in my photo and editing folder, I have Keynote, which I actually like to use. That's how I created my Vlogmas intro. I love it for extra little like glitz and glams and fancy editing for my iMovie because iMovie is very basic, right? So I like to use Keynote to kind of fancy it up because I don't have Final Cut Pro. So this is a way that you can get more overlays and things like that in iMovie even though you don't have Final Cut. So hey, it's a little bit more work. It is, but it's, uh, it's a nice little app to use. Um, image Play, I don't even know. I haven't used this in forever. I could probably delete this. I guess to create GIFs, I never use it. So there's that. Next we have Canva, which I love for literally everything, any type of graphic, any type of everything, like my thumbnails, I just love Canva, I love Canva. Snapseed, I don't use that as much, I probably could delete that, but it's similar to like Facetune and Lightroom. iMovie, I still have it on my phone, but like I really don't use iMovie on my phone. I use it on my laptop. But back in the day, y'all used to film, edit, and everything all on my phone, and iMovie, from my iPhone, from iPhone like, Two, <laughs> 2G. <laughs> um, next is long video. So what you can do with this app, I haven't used it yet, but I saw somebody talk about it, so I was like, well, let me download that. Where you can um, like upload a, let's say like a one minute video clip and you wanna separate it into Instagram story frames, which there are 15 seconds each frame, it'll do it for you. I think that's the same thing that Clips does. I just haven't used either one, but I downloaded them both because I saw them like on other people's, what's in my phone. <laughs> Next is Photo Grid. I love this when I'm creating like a collage of some sort or even when I'm trying to like edit something in like a different format. I really like to use Photo Grid. I still use, sometimes I use Canva, sometimes I use InShot too, but I, I still lean towards Photo Grid every once in a while for photos specifically. Video Leap is actually this really cool app that a lot of like TikTokers were recommending when you're trying to do like the splice kind of method where it's like two of you in the one video, but like it looks like you side by side. So I kind of want to play around with that and Get, you know, increase the editing because honestly, I love video content, so I kind of want to increase my little editing skills. Um, the next folder we have is affiliate links. So, for those of you who don't know, a lot of the links that creators use are affiliate links, and what that means, we get like a small commission. And I know y'all be like, y'all be saying small, I mean, like it's 10 cents for every like $20, like it's crazy, but it's still really beneficial. And some girls are making hundreds of thousands of dollars just from affiliate links in pro tip holiday season commission percentages are higher okay and a lot of people are shopping more so there's a benefit there so these are just kind of the main ones that i use also i have poshmark in here which i don't know why i have poshmark and affiliate links and then bitly lets you track links even if they're not an affiliate link but that's good when you're trying to pitch the brands and be like hey 
people have been clicking every time I post about your hair product. Let's work together because I already have 500 people that have purchased. So what's that? Let's do it. So it's a really good way for you to leverage with brand deals, brand partnerships, and just for you to see, like, let's say you're a company or a business owner and you would like to see how many people are clicking specific products. You can use bit.ly links so that you can track that and or pro tip. If you are a business owner or a company and you're working with an influencer, you can give them a bit.ly link. So then you can see like, are they actually bringing traction? Are people actually clicking the links? Are they converting? You can see stuff like that. Next up, next up, next up. So at the very bottom, I just have the calendar. Cause sometimes I just want to look, quick look. Swipe to the next page. The background is super cute, right? <laughs> super cute, I think so. Besides me. Oh wait, did I show you all the lock screen? Let me show you the lock screen. It's just basic. I know, sorry, uneventful. And my phone's always on do not serve, insider, always. <laughs> so please call twice. <laughs> wait, did, did the screen recording stop? Anyway, I was trying to show you guys my lock screen, but I don't know if I can do that. Oh, Bay texted me. Anyway, so top left corner, I just have my to-do list. So you can pin specific notes and then that way I don't have to go to like my main notes and search for something. I can just go right in the notes. Then at the top right corner, contacts. This page is really kind of just like a free for all on this side. And, um, but I'll just go through some of them. So I have my calculator cause girl needs to calculate. Okay. Um, travel, which I have a few things in there just for when I'm traveling, easy access to get straight to it. Then I have like Apple products, so the Apple Store, iTunes, all the things in one folder. Finances, that's all like my financial things. For instance, like QuickBooks, like if you are an influencer, entrepreneur, business owner, anyone making money, side hustler, however you wanna put it, get QuickBooks to be your bookkeeping because it's so helpful when you're new and you don't wanna hire somebody. So pro tip for that, but that's like different financial stuff in there. Next we have food, cause I'm greedy, okay, and I am and like it. So here's some of my favorite places. Of shipped is my grocery delivery service that I love. Y'all know if you're not new here, then you already know. But I have Fruit Bowl, Starbucks, McDonald's, Whataburger, and then Chick Fil A, of course. Next to that, we have entertainment. It's like some random stuff in there, honestly. Like I don't even know. It's just really random stuff in there. Then bottom left corner, we have navigation. Child, I'll be lost. No, <laughs> um, but yeah, I just have like my maps, Uber, and um, parking, Park Mobile, like. Just get it. If you are, if you live in a city and you be parking, like just pay for the parking because no one has time to get a boot or get out. Like I don't have time. I don't want to do that. Um, next to that, we just have random systems right here, files. Like this is kind of a catch-all folder. Self care. I have my read scripture app. I have my diary app, which I love because it has a lock on it. Like, period. I love it. It just reminds me of like childhood when I had a diary and like had a lock on it. And sometimes I just need a vent in there. And then my BetterHelp app. I consider that self-care it's amazing so you have a notification i probably for my therapist i need to get back with her um but yeah i love that you also have a journaling feature in there as well which i like because then i can share with my therapist and then we can talk about it later but when i just want to talk to myself i go in the diary okay next to that i have home stuff Ooh, ciao hello next to that i have home stuff so i have my dyson links that dyson link that connects to my dyson humidifier and all of that which i love shout out to dyson because i worked with them previously um the boys connect is to my speaker what i which i love my google home y'all y'all know i'll be like hey google this hey google that hey google <laughs> i cannot wait to get my google back hooked up i love my google nest shout out to google um peloton why is peloton in home i probably could put peloton in self-care let me do that real quick it in home screen I guess that would be home too. Drag and drop, but we're gonna put Peloton over there. So yeah, I like to use my Peloton on my phone when I'm doing like a meditation, right? Um, or something like that. And then I have my camera app in here for the apartment. And that is pretty much it. Everything else is just kind of in the, I was gonna show y'all, but it's pretty recording. Everything else is kind of just in like the catch all random area. Sometimes I add things, take them away. Then at the very bottom, I just have like phone stuff. Phone, text message, Google app, FaceTime, all of those things. So that's currently what's in my phone, but let's go ahead and do an unboxing. <laughs> I'm so excited. Um, I'm gonna make y'all wait <laughs> later in Vlogmas to see what's on my new phone and how I organize it because I need to start from scratch. Um, and I need to, honestly, honestly, y'all, I need to make sure everything's downloaded on the cloud on this phone before I go here because I, I need everything to be in sync. Um, but I wanna do a little comparison really quickly. So let's unbox it.
how aesthetic. <laughs> okay, so first glance, it looks just like the 12 Pro Max. <laughs> um, let me take this phone out of the case and see. And honestly, I might wait until I get my, um, my phone cases should be in, I need to check the tracking, but it should be in pretty shortly. So I might wait, but I need to mail this phone back. I did a trade in, I have ATT, by the way, if anybody cares. So yeah, but they look pretty much, this one's dirty. I mean, this one's giving old, <laughs> I'm so excited. I heard the camera on this one. Like for, I really got it honestly, because one, I'm a creator and like, I need the most up to date. But I really got it because of the camera. Like I need the front camera to give what the back camera gives. And I, they said the 13 Pro Max does that. And like with TikTok on the rise and Instagram reels, like sometimes it's nice to just get stuff on your phone without having to pull out your camera camera. So that's why I did it. But honestly, there, there's I probably would have just kept the phone I have. Like there's really no other reason. But here I am, you know, business expense. <laughs> um, so here is the 13 Pro Max over here that's clearly off and this other one's clearly on they're pretty much they're really really similar like i'm not seeing a huge difference besides the camera so this one is a 13 pro max over here that i'm pointing at and you see the cameras are a little bit bigger than the 12 pro max just a little bit and I will give a, um, a little disclaimer, I'm no tech guru. I'm just literally giving you guys a side-by-side -side, um, of the two phones. So I figured I'd do that since I'm doing a what's in my phone. Um, so this 13 Pro is beautiful. I mean, I went with just the basic color because I already had it. And then I also think it just matches a lot of phone cases easier, but this is gorgeous. Even the, the width of it, let's see if it focus. Is the same like it's the same the height is the same the size the width this it's literally the same the only difference is the camera is bigger on the back and then the front oh yeah the front camera y'all see that little line I don't know if you can see it it's longer on the 13 Pro so I'm guessing it's a bigger front camera girl y'all let me know but also you know what this would be fun comment below what type of phone you have in the comment section i want to know let me know but yeah i'm excited i'm gonna turn this thing on okay i decided i'm gonna go through some of my stuff before i back it up so i'm not backing up stuff i don't need so that is pretty much it for today's video hope you guys enjoyed this that was just a quick little what's on my phone you know hope you guys are enjoying vlogmas i swear there's going to be more like vlog vlog videos as we go on in vlogmas i just want to give myself a little bit of cushion with some sit down content so today's video was going to be a vlog y'all but it just the day didn't give what it's supposed to gave okay so but i hope you guys still enjoyed this video um don't forget to comment below what type of phone you have don't forget to thumbs up this video if you enjoyed subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and make sure you guys check out the other vlogmas videos and any other videos on my channel i have hundreds of videos over the oh my gosh how long has it been my first video was up in 2014 so it's been years um not new to this true to this i love you guys so 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 much and since it's vlogmas i'm ending all of my vlogs with an affirmation so if you made it this far in the video and if you don't know i always end my vlogs with an affirmation make sure you guys comment below this affirmation if you made it this far hmm oh this is a good one okay Comment below this affirmation if you made it this far. I grow with every challenge. Mm. Cause let me tell you, today was a challenge. But we gonna grow. I'm doing some new content. It's gonna push me to the limits. I know somebody's out there that is going through something and you're like, man, am I gonna make it on the other side of this? And you will, and you're going to grow from it. So let me run that back one time for the one time. If you made it this far in the video, comment below. I grow with every challenge. I appreciate each and every one of you. Not a piece of hair in my mouth while I'm trying to give the tea. <laughs> I will see you guys in my next video. I don't think I'm uploading on Saturdays during Vlogmas. We'll see. But if not, I will see you guys Sunday. Love you guys. Later.